Are you ready to program using the Click PLC software? In this video, we'll jump right into programming, so follow along and try to keep up. Rung number one. We are going to start out with a normally open contact X1. We can do this several ways. From the instruction list, click and drag a normally open contact into this box. You can also double click the box or double click the normally open contact from the instruction list or use the shortcuts listed at the bottom of the screen. Here we enter X1 into the box where X1 will be the first real world input on our click PLC. The instruction cursor box will move to the next available location. Now we want to create an OR statement. So we need an instruction below X1 but still attached to rung 1. The line creation tool is used to add instructions in parallel. You can choose the shortcut method as we did here and hold control and use the arrow buttons to create new lines. Or if you click on the line creation tool icon located on the toolbar, it will walk you through the steps to draw a new line. Note. There's also a line erase tool icon on the toolbar that is used to erase any of the lines that were created. Now we insert a normally open contact C1 as a parallel instruction. On the right side of the ladder, or the output side, we grab a timer and label it T1. We give it a set point value of 5 and choose seconds as the units. We select the delay settings on delay and click OK. Now we have a really nice looking timer instruction as the output of rung 1. Rung 2, we use timer T1 as the normally open input to turn on Y1 as our output. Y1 is the first real world output on the Click PLC. Last, don't forget to use an end statement to wrap up your program. That's as far as we go here. Follow us to the rest of the videos to learn how to save, download, and test your program in a Click PLC. Thanks for watching.